What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so something is afoot. There is a big foot loose. Yeah, in our last episode, we managed to defeat the Anastar City Gym Leader, Olympia. What a wonderful person. And now, it is finally time for us to, well, get rid of Team Flare, because we got a message from uh, Lysandre, and that mother lover is, uh, well, going to eliminate, eliminate us all with the secret weapon. Yeah, we're not wearing uh, some, you know, some goofy suit or anything. But he said anybody in, 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 not in the goofy red suit will be killed. That's pretty much what he said. So, we're going to be going straight to Lumioi City because apparently that is where he's hiding out, I think. I don't really know. So, uh, let's see. Well, we're going to go there right here. And... If I remember correctly, it's at the Magenta Plaza where you're going to be able to find Homeboy. And... Well, let's go right ahead and take care of this. Alright, so where am I? Let's see. Okay, so let's go straight to this guy. The, this guy, the Lumi Cab. Yes. Okay, we're in the mood. Let's go to a cafe right here. And, uh, well... Let's go to Lissandre Cafe. Yeah, I feel like that was there, some cafe, like, near Magenta Plaza, huh? That's where you want to go. Yes. Then here we go. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, so here we are in the Magenta Plaza right there. And, well, it's the big red cafe right here. Now, once you come inside... You are not as welcome as you were in the last one. There's only two people in here. And homeboy here is like, Today, our special is, get out or else. Go down. Okay, so here we go. Team Flare Grunt wants the battle. Coming with his Scrafty. Just bring it. Okay, Scrafty. Of course, you have not met my good old buddy, uh, Shatter or Shadar. From the last walker right here. And, well, we're going to be going straight for the Dragon Claw. If you guys remember in the last episode, too, we evolved our good old buddy, Bonesaw, into its final form, Fracture. I think that's what its name is. Kind of get those things wrong. And look at that. He hits me physically. You're going to get the Rock Helmet. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And Goku grows to level 51. And it's learning Heal Pose. Uh, po heal Pulse, I should say that. And we're not going to even learn that stuff. But we defeated the Grunt. I need my stylish red the Team Flare suit to unleash my full power. Yeah, that's what it is. That is exactly what it is. Okay, so... Oh no, he'll find the password to uh, the hidden door in this cafe. It's open sesame. <laughs> like everything else. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Guy 3. We haven't seen you in a, in a while too. It's been a while, so let's go ahead and talk to this person. Today's special is Scramble! If you don't get out of here now. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Team Flare Grunt wants the battle. And she will be coming out with her Lyford. Still a dark type Pokemon, but no problem for Gaia 3. Why? Because this Pokemon is awesome. It is awesome. Okay. Bring it. Let's go. Dazzling Gleam. Look at this. Dazzling, Gle Dazzling Gleam takes care of that. Ah, didn't know that it was a Fairy-type Pokemon, right? No, you didn't. And the Grunt has been defeated. Even though she looks wonderful in that. Better than the, the suit and everything. At this rate, he'll figure out that there's a hidden door in this, uh, to Lissandra Labs. The piece of furniture giving off a mysterious vibe. It's a hidden door! Draven said the password in front of the hidden door. Open Sesame! If you guys haven't seen uh, Aladdin, the King of Thieves, yeah. I remember that. I remember watching that. That was a somewhat okay movie, I guess. Alright, so here we are in Lysandre Labs, and well, here he is. Welcome. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. Only chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want to have a ticket, or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle. Hmm. Okay. Bring it. So here we go, guys. Our very first uh, battle against Lysandra right here. And this guy is looking like a... 
a Super Saiyan gone evil, and he is coming out with a pretty good Pokemon, Mind Chow, Mind Fu. Mind, yeah, it's Mind Fu. It's Mind Fu. Okay, let's go. Do it. Psychic attack. Let's get this guy down. Now, while I'm kicking his ass right here, I would like to let you guys know that, hey, we have reached, right here in this game, uh, we have finally reached the point to where I completely stopped uh, narrating my my original X Walker while I was driving X 7-Eleven. And uh, yeah, we're gonna complete it all with commentary. Now, if you guys don't remember, I would have to say like maybe three, four months before I decided to switch over. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh damn it! Ah, okay, well played. Well played. Okay. I got you. Bones up. So, uh, like I was saying, guys, um, three, four months before I, I switched over to Draven XC, or uh, switched over to my name, or changed the channel and all that stuff, um, I was actually going through a Pokemon X walkthrough. And it was around this time I decided to stop. And this guy is kicking my ass. Holy crap. Holy crap. On the Crapticle Stick. He is kicking my ass. Okay. I got a good Pokemon right here. You can't use your move, but I got a good move right here. That's right, Gaia 3. Let's get this. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. Dazzling Gleam. See, this is what happens when I'm like, I'm not focused. But like I was saying, guys, uh... Yeah. Before I switched over, doing Pokemon X walkthrough in Japanese, by, uh, mind you. And, well, a lot of you guys didn't really like it, especially, especially, I, I, like, I was especially doing Pokemon, uh, or, like, uh, Omega Ruby in Japanese as well, and, yeah, again, it was in Japanese, you guys didn't really like it, so, what ended up happening was that, eventually, I bought myself a, a, you know, a 3DS with the Kit Kat, uh, Slim, uh, uh, application and uh, you know the other application that goes with it from there tested it out and I was like you know what let's just ditch Pokemon X and go with Pokemon Y in English and that's where I eventually you know recorded the, the last few episodes of Pokemon X non narrated and uh, yeah a lot of you guys didn't really like that at all so fast forward to today right here and look at Atlas Sandre. He's not so happy. He's like, excellent. I can feel the fire in your convictions during, uh, burning deep in your heart. Yes. Look at that. I look, uh, I look pretty good with a, with an orange, I think. Ha ha ha! Your convictions and those of your Pokemon please me. You are here to stop me, but I asked you to wait. I tried to save people and the world with the profit of, from this lab, but my efforts had no effect. The world was too just too vast and too full of fools that I wouldn't uh, save through my hard work alone. And that's why I decided the only way to save the world was to take it all of myself. I don't expect that all to ever. I don't expect that I will ever make you understand how I, f I think and feel. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must, but to do so, you will have to explore our lab and have Pokemon battles with all you meet. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, and as for the elevator key. One of the Team Flare scientists you've met on your journey has it. Really? Saving everything? The world is suffering because of this absurd dream. Well, it is time. We're going to be going in here, battling everybody, taking care of business and all that stuff. But before we can do anything, we got to revive our Pokemon. Holy crap. Look at that. We, 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 we weren't paying attention. And uh, that's exactly what happens when you get you don't pay attention. You get your butt kicked. Badly. Very, very badly. Yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah. Going back to the whole, you know, X and Y thing. Yeah. So, I decided to do that, and then all of a sudden, that's what led to me just being burnt out, not wanting to do any more walkthroughs and all that stuff, and then, you know, eventually change it up to what is now Gym Leader Draven. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually very, very happy about this whole, this, this whole part right here, because... You know, this is the exact point where I just stop talking. Where I stop talking, um, or, you know, where, where I stop talking, doing narrating and all that crud. 
really got bored. I really did. But now you're getting everything here, guys. So let's go with a bone, a bone, what you want to call it? Good God. All righty. There we go. Come on, five hits. Come on, give him. Oh, crap. It was three hits. Yeah, buddy. All righty. Let's go again. Let's do it again. Look at that. Say goodbye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, there is something about this game that you, you guys should know. It doesn't really take a lot to finish this uh, at all. They do, like... I kept on saying this through the, throughout the adventure, too. And that is that, um... They didn't really complete the whole thing. They kind of just skipped out on a few important aspects, such as, you know... Zygarde. I think that's what his name is. Um... What else? Uh... It just, just about a lot of stuff, guys. It was just three legendary Pokemon, no external, like no other three legendary Pokemon that come with it. It was a, uh, if you ask me, it was a little bit lazy on how they made this game. And well, look at this. <laughs> well, if it isn't the fascinating, lane, fascinating little trainer from Macau's Power Plant. So we meet again, just as I, just as I said we would. Oh damn! So the evil girlfriend wants the battle. Aliana wants the battle. Look at that. Mighty Anna coming out. Oh yeah, guys. Lazily made. I have, I have no issue whatsoever. I mean, the Mega Evolutions are pretty cool. Um, I just kind of wish they came out with like a sequel. Uh, you know, knowing Nintendo now, it probably would have came out with like, you know, Pokemon X, X2, Y2, or, you know. Uh, one of you guys suggested Pokemon Hyper X and Hyper, you know, Hyper uh, Y, you know, that kind of stuff. It, it probably would have been that. Me, I would have preferred. I would have preferred them coming out with Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Z, and then just complete the whole thing where you can actually capture all three of the legendary Pokemon. But that's just my take. It is what it is. You know, we can't change anything now that we are in the Nintendo Switch era. We can't really do anything about that. And looking at Drudigon, defeat. Alrighty, look at that. Oh, look at that. And Aliana has been defeated. That's right. The girlfriend has been defeated. And, well, let's see. She's gonna be like, I don't have the key, but I'll let you pass. But which war panel would it, could it be? Which one could it be? I'll tell you what it is. You're, you're thinking it's yellow. No, it's green. Don't ever choose the, don't ever choose the yellow one, guys. It's gonna return you back to the, the, the entrance. And, well, look at that. We're spinning out of control, battling everybody. Let's go ahead and take on this guy. Of course, he is not an admin. Okay, alrighty. So let's go. Let's get this. Alrighty, he's coming, or he is coming in with a Swallow again. We do have the move for that. Let's go with Bulldoze. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. It lowers the speed, but it's going to stockpile something. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's get this. Oh, yeah. Earthquake attack. That was its thing, and, well... Ah, oh, Jeebus. Look at that. Okay, so... Still won't go down, but here we go again with another bulldoze attack. Let's get this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Say goodbye to Swalot. And, uh, yes, Godzilla grows to level 57, and Bonesaw grows to level 49, and here she comes out with a Lifebird. So, let's go with Goku right here. See what we can do. See if we can actually, uh, you know, finish it off in one hit. Uh, probably what it is. Probably what it's going to be. Alrighty, so, let's go right ahead and use Aurora Sphere. Probably one of my favorite fighting type moves. Look at that. Looks like a Kamehameha. Bam. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay. And Goku grows to level 52. Oh, yes. And, well, Team Flare Grunt has been defeated. No good. No good. The admin's just gonna be mad at me. Yeah. You pretty much are. They are gonna be mad at you. So, what's gonna happen now is we're gonna go through this entrance. We're gonna try and find a guy that, you know, has the key. And, would you look at that. No sign of him here either. Oh damn. You! 
Have you seen anything? We're looking for a really tall guy. And I mean tall. If you stretch a, a survivor and stood, uh, stood it up, he'd be that tall. We received some intelligence, intelligence that Team Flare is also trying to uh, find him for some reason. His relationship to Team Flare is still a mystery, but... Oh, by the way, I got something for you. Take this with you, Draven. We get ourselves some revives, which is nice. Pretty good. Very, very good. Oh, wait! We met some time ago, but I didn't know your name then. I've never heard your name <laughs> before. <laughs> Not once. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we came here at the at a certain professor's request to stop Team Flare. I assume your goal is the same. Don't do anything reckless, okay? Sure, why not? Okay, Dexio. <laughs> okay, so let's move on ahead right here. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, try and find the person who has a key. And we're not going to be able to go here, so let's go here. And down here, there's a team player grunt. And let's go in here first. And, well, there's somebody right there. He, she won't battle us. And we're going to grab this, another revive. Nice. And if you click on the bed right here, yes, you can rest your Pokemon. They will they will be healed up. So, you know, if you guys have any experience or healing items, yeah, try not to waste them right here. Oh, my. You took off Team Flare's off in suit. Off, uh, you didn't get, uh, you didn't want to get it wrinkled in, in the bed? Eh? No, not really. And, well, what? You want to lie down and take a little nap? Hm. What a softy. You! Do you think you can really use this TM? We get ourselves a TM-12, a very nice item. The taunt people. Okay, so let's move on right here. Okay. Let's see, where are we now? Can't go there, can't go there. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Fashionable people can battle too! Whatever you say. Okay, so here we go. Team Flare Grunt wants the battle, coming out with a Liebird. Okay, alright. Godzilla 3, ready to kill. And here we go. Flamethrower attack. Yeah, buddy. Flamethrower does its trick. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, well, he's coming out with the Mighty Anna, so let's go back to Goku right here, just to beat every single one of them. And... Look at that. Mariana. Alrighty. Looking scary, but guess what? Aurora Sphere will defeat you. Alrighty. Look at this. Aurora Sphere does the trick. Look at that. Alrighty. And Fluffle grows to level 48, which is also great too. And, well. That is something. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's move on right here. Nobody in this place has uh, the key right now, so we're just going to be battling everybody until somebody says something. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead. Man, these guys definitely don't like They They don't change in their Pokemon. They have Fire and Dark type Pokemon, but yet they don't use them properly and all that crud. Look at that. Bulldoze does its trick right there. Yes, sir. Okay, so he's coming out with a Toxic Croak. I'm going to continue on right here. And, well. Alrighty. Let's go with the Fly Attack. Here we go. Oh, wow. So, Fly Attack does his thing. And, here we go. Fly Attack does its trick. Okay. Say goodbye to Toxic Croak. Look at that. And Gaia 3, of course, grows to level 55, and we're all happy. We're all good now. And, well, that right there is another one. Let's see. Uh, stepping into the spinos, uh, yada, yada. Okay, so nothing right there. Okay, so we got a decision. We're going to go right here, and hopefully it'll take us to the right path. Maybe. I don't even know. And as you can see, it's, wow, spinning left, right, upside down. Holy crap. And, yeah, holy crap. And look at that. Okay, so we got another trainer ready to battle us right here. Wow, you came all this way? I suppose I'd be, I better cheer. Go, Team Flare. Go, go, Team Flare. F to the L to the A to the R to the E. Wow. 
How lame. How oh, very, very lame. Okay, so let's get this. Alrighty. Let's go, Godzilla. Let's go and defeat people. Let's make let's make uh, Pokemon trainers out of these guys right here. So here we go. Bulldoze does it, and oh wow, he survived. And uh, oh crud, that was a war attack. And who? Oh wow, Fluffolt, you made a big mistake, my friend. So let's go straight for the power gem. Alrighty, power gem does the trick. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. And so he's coming out with the Scrafty. I'm gonna just switch it out right now. Let's go. Let's go Goku again. Again, still a Yeah, it's still a it's still a dark type Pokemon, so it won't be anything. Alrighty. Bring on Scrafty. Okay, let's see. What do we have right here? Roar Sphere can do it? Yes it can. Let's get it. Roar Sphere. Look at that. Takes care of this guy right here. And I'm feeling happy. Kakashi Hitake grows levels. And it's learning Haze. Definitely not a move that we want. Speaking of Haze, yeah, living in California, it's kind of hazy. It's been hazy for the last two weeks, you know, thanks to the forest fires and all that stuff. So, yeah. Can't really take any runs anymore right here. And, well, let's see. Actually, we're going to go into this room right here. And, well... Two of our good old buddies waiting for us. So, I gotta have the right team for this. Ah, uh, Kakashi and. Kakashi and Godzilla. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Huh. I've seen this kid somewhere before. So, who is he? I have no idea. But obviously, he's not in Team Flare. Let's get him, yeah? Yep, that sounds good to me. Then I'll get the first blow. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well, here we go. Celosia wants the battle, and she will be coming out with her good old buddy, Maynectric, right here. Okay. Alright. Let's go, Maynectric. Let's get this. So here we go. Oh, wow. And, it, of course, it lowers the speed right there, and this guy using... Oh, crud, what the hell did he just use? Thunder Wave? It used Thunder Wave. Okay, so let's try and finish this guy off right here with a Thunder Wave, or not a Thunder Wave, a Bulldoze. And that... Oh, crud. Crud baskets. Okay, come on. And... Wow. So there goes Godzilla. This is ridiculous. Okay. You is you mess with my Godzilla, you about get the you about to get the bone saw. So let's go. Let's get this bone saw right here. Alrighty, so Dragon Claw for the win. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Bone saw, kicking ass, taking names. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. And uh, well, she's gonna come or yeah, she's gonna come out with a Drapion. Do I have? Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. Let's get this bone saw. Going to kick butt right here. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and use a Dragon Claw. Let's get it. Dragon Claw nearly does it, and well, this great belt right here is uh, powering up right here its accuracy. So let's go right ahead. Dragon Dance. Let's boost up its attack a little. Alrighty, alrighty. And of course, here comes that poison jab. Damn! That's gotta hurt. And yes, you're gonna get hurt with the Rocky Helmet because, of course, I do have Rocky Helmet. So here we go, Dragon oh, for the win. Oh yeah, hard fought battle right there. And look at that. Welcome to the level 50 club, Bone Saw. And Bone Saw is learning Swords Dance. Do not want to learn that because I already got a move that can actually help that. And well, look at that. Goku grows level 53. Salusa, Salusa wants the battle, and or she has been defeated. And yeah, look at that. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. So. Oh, what a brute! Look at the poor Salusa. And just like that, we're gonna be going up against, uh. Brioni. Oh, damn. Brioni. 
See, never get your girlfriends all mad at you guys because, of course, they will come back with the vengeance right here. They'll make your Pokemon faint. Okay, let's go with the Surf. Let's get it. Finish this guy off, and oh, uh, wow, we're gonna be flinching. Good for you, but guess what? We got Surf now. Surf attack. And there goes. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Fluffle grows level 49, and she will be coming out with a Bi Sharp. So, do not have the Pokemon for this, so I'm gonna go straight to the man, the myth, the legend, Goku. Alrighty, let's go, Goku. Let's get this. And Bi Sharp looking all mean and everything, but guess what? Got Aurora Sphere. Let's finish this guy off for the win. Yeah, buddy. Bi Sharp defeated. Okay, alrighty, Embryoni. She's like, your ability flies in the face of probability. Just what is the source of your power? My fist. That's right. <laughs> okay, what's this? Who would have thought a child like you could beat us both? You and your Pokemon were utterly in sync in that battle. I know why. You're here for answers, aren't you? I suppose we're at your mercy. I will let you know what uh, I will let you know uh, let you what I know at least. We've been using the electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for activating the ultimate weapon. But it's not like that's all we'll need uh, to use it. Are you following me? We'll need the energy absorbed from a Pokemon to uh, to uh, power the device. Yes, it's stones at Route 10 that will steal the energy from for us and the power of the ultimate weapon. In reality, those stones that line up in Route 10 are the graves of Pokemon. When the ultimate weapon was used to the end to end the horrible war over 3,000 years ago, it stole the lives of all Pokemon. Their lives were the price of peace then. And if we want to make our own wishes come true today, we in Team Flare also have to sacrifice something precious. Oh damn. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm going to walk out because, uh, yeah, that they, 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 they was pretty deep right there. That was very, very deep. Did not know that. Didn't need to know that, but, well, did not know that. Okay, so, let's see. Uh, let's see, what will this take us right here? And, yeah, we will be getting items right here. So, I'm assuming... I'm assuming that we, we, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be uh, moving forward right here. I think there's a few items that we still need to get. Uh, let's see. Got it right. Okay, so we got an opponent right here. Bring it! Alrighty. Anywho, we're going up against a homeboy with the gold bat, and I'm here, ready to take, uh, ready to just beat everybody down. Just beat everybody down. Okay, so. Let's go with the extra sensory. And look at that. Goldbat has been defeated. Didn't know they had it, right? Alrighty. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay, so that right there was done perfectly. That was actually that was actually better right there. So let's go right ahead and go into this panel right here and see where this takes us. And this will take us right here, which I Pretty sure this is uh, you know, the place that we need to go. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and revive Godzilla. It needs to be revived. And, uh, well, let's see. Right here, okay. So, alrighty, so let's go ahead and battle this person. <laughs> it sure feels good to let loose every once in a while. Spying on people's holocaster conversation gets boring pretty quickly after all. Would you look at that? Oh damn, so it turns out that we're being spied on. And well, here we go. Coming out with a toxic crow. Alrighty. Let's go. The return of Godzilla. He's about to kick some butt right now. Let's go with a fly attack. There we go. Let's get this fly attack. Of course we're not faster than this guy just yet, but guess what? Fly attack, it is powerful, very, very powerful, and, well, look at that, look at that, and welcome back, Godzilla 3, to level 58, and, well, coming out with a life herd, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here, and, well, let's go with Kakashi Hitake, alrighty, 
Alrighty. Let's get this. Alrighty, so Lightbird coming level 44. Let's go with a Surf Attack right here. And... Well, here comes that Surf Attack. And Lightbird is no more. You see? Pokemon are getting stronger every single time. And look at that. Team player member has been defeated. And yes, we're throwing out that fist pump right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Who is next right here? Of course, I'm getting messages all the way. Oh, God. People stop messaging me. Especially while I'm recording. So here we are in another room. And this is probably the last person of Team Flare that we have to deal with. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch it to Gaia 3. And here we go. Oh, 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 you're the kid from the Frost Cavern. On your Losin self this time. Yes. Ooh, that's cold. Colder than the cavern. Your Pokemon don't even count on it for anything. We gather data about all the trainers in the region through the Holocaster. So we know all about you guys. And you know how the Mega Ring is used to awaken Pokemon's power, right? Just like how we, how the ultimate weapon can max out the Pokemon's power. <laughs> Looks like you and me are practically after the same thing, yeah? Oh, damn. Okay, so here we go, taking on girlfriend Mabel, and yes, she is coming out with the vengeance because uh, what I did to her over at the Crust Cavern and all that stuff, oh god. Okay, alrighty, early bird gets the worm, but guess what, early bird gets the dazzling gleam, yeah buddy. Look at that, dazzling gleam, oh damn, and here comes the, oh crust. Okay, so we're both hitting each other with everything we got. So let's go again. Dazzling Gleam for the win. Yeah, buddy. And, well, level 56 right here. Pretty good. And, well, that right there goes to Weavile. So let's go to a Fire-type Pokemon. Let's get this guy. Okay, alrighty. Yeah. So this part, this part of the, the whole adventure right here is going to be a little bit long just because of the fact that, you know, we're taking on some, we're going to be taking on the legendary Pokemon pretty soon here. And so, let's go with a flamethrower attack right here. And... Here we go. Look at that. Okay, alrighty, and Kakashi, growing level is just the same, and yes, Mabel has not liked that. <laughs> Oh, you are strong, and you and your Pokemon are most certainly not ordinary. That's right. We are not ordinary. We're extraordinary. That was pretty lame right there, but it's true. Ding, ding, you, you did it. To the victor goes the spoils. Here, an elevator key for you. And we got ourselves the elevator key, which will in fact take us to the next part of this whole ish, uh, this, this whole uh, si situation right here. So. Let's go straight to the elevator, wherever it may be. Uh, let's see. Not this way, that way. Of course, we're gonna be going this way. Good gravy. Okay. Okay, so it returned us to the same spot, so... Of course, we're gonna be going this side. Right here. And look at looky. We're right here. Okay, so now we can actually go into the elevator and take us to the next spot of this whole place. We're gonna go to bottom floor two. Okay, alrighty. And, well, we're going to be going straight down, and of course, there's going to be a lot more to cover right here. Would you look at that? Listen, one who will face Lissandre. Oh, damn. It's a tall ass motherfucker. A terribly long time ago. There was a man in a Pokemon he loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in that war. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The 
the man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. The man had suffered too much. His rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. The man became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. The Pokemon that was given life must have known. The lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. The resurrected Pokemon left the man. Get the key back. It should not be used. Uh, it should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know the unending pain like I have? Oh damn. So that was pretty deep. That is AZ. He has been he has the same name as a king that lived 3000 years ago. And for some unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. Oh damn. Follow him to the chambers. Oh crud. Okay, so let's see what's going on right here. Get the key back. Oh yeah, he's 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 telling me that he's telling me everything. Okay, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna be going straight to the chambers where Lysandre or Lysandre, which should be. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go to B, B floor three right here. And well, here we are. Of course, we're gonna be going straight up here, and there's gonna be something going on right now. As you can see, they are plotting. So the Pokeballs we received and the Pokemon we've gathered are where we, they need to be. Add it up, and it means all preparations are complete. The only thing left to do is to put the plan in motion. I'm counting on you. One push of a button, and we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe being a chosen one means you have potential to change the future. Whether we activate the ultimate weapon or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you can actually have the potential or not. Oh damn, plot twist. He's gonna screw me over. <laughs> You're the one I've heard so much about. I've been waiting for you. I need a little research on you. Come on, let us begin. Okay, so here we go guys, another battle. And here we are going up against Zerosic. And he's coming out with his Crobat right here. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go. Talk to Batman versus Gaia 3. Okay. Alright. So we got this. Let's get this psychic attack right here. Let's finish this guy off. And of course, he's gonna be coming out with a cross or X is or what was it? Poison Cross. And well, here comes. Bam. Psychic attack does a trick. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And Malamari will be coming out. Now remember, or if you guys don't know who Malamari is, it is both a Witch Makalita 
a Psychic and Dark type Pokemon. So we're gonna be going with uh, the powerful of all my Pokemon right here. We're gonna be going with Godzilla, Godzilla. Let's get it, Godzilla. Okay, Malamar. Let's go ahead and destroy this guy with a flamethrower attack. Now, the way to evolve Malamar, or to evolve the Pokemon into Malamar, is kind of unique in this game. You kind of have to turn your Nintendo or your, your 3DS upside down in order to actually evolve it. And, uh, well, that's what I found out, like, when I first played this game. That was pretty hilarious. And look at that, Malamar defeated. Oh, yeah. Okay, alrighty. And Goku grows a level 54, which is great. And we defeated Zerosic here. Oh, you're wonderful. Your Pokemon are amazing. Yes. You get some more money right here. Okay. Um, wonderful. Amazing. You have tremendous skill and bravery. When you add that up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. Okay. 3,000 years ago, the ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use it in incredible power, we finally free Kalos of the foolish humans that plague it. Press, uh, behind me you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them is the button for activating the ultimate weapon. Push one now. Come on, push one. Now, to be honest guys, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you press red or blue. Either way, it's gonna start up something, so let's just go with blue since it's my favorite color. Yes. Draven pressed the blue button. And he's like, you press you pressed it! Oh you pressed the blue switch. Winner winner! Congratulations. But I'm still gonna activate the ultimate weapon. I know the boss promised that we wouldn't if you push the correct button, but I refuse to let the potential go to waste. I'll use my remote here, click click. The power is on. Uh-oh. Come on, look at the monitor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is going on? Asshole. Did you see? The ultimate weapon is reborn. The poisonous flower has bloomed. All shall perish, except for Team Pe Flare. Look at Geosedge. It has bloomed into Geosedge Town. The boss's dream of creating a beautiful world will come true. Add it all up, and it equals a victory for our science. You butthole. So, like I said, guys, uh, yeah. And that's what happens when you trust a criminal. Yeah. Anywho, so we're going to be going back to Geosense now because there's going to be some things that we need to take care of, of course. Uh, messing up right here. And... Well, we're getting out, out of here. And, well, time to get the heck out of here. And, well... That will be in our next episode. This has been 45 minutes long of uh, just uh, dreadling and BS and all that crud. And now we're going to go finish up this whole adventure over at Geosenge. So it's probably right over there. So let's go straight to Geosenge. As you probably already noticed, it just destroyed the place. Well, not destroyed, but just uh, kind of messed it up a little right there. So there we are, Geosenge, right now. So in our next episode, guys, we will be going through this whole uh, area, 
and uh, we're going to make sure that we save the world again. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.